So, I am <laughs> so awkward. This is the first Halloween video I'm going to be filming, and I'm actually going to film two today because uh, I have dark burgundy red hair. Uh, that is what my hair looks like 99% of the time, and I was going to be extra and do my hair green for a few of my Halloween videos and I don't have a lot of hair. I don't have long hair and somehow two bottles of green spray didn't even spray on my hair and like somehow I have really bad roots like so some of my hair is green <laughs> and that counts. Um, I wanted to film this video when I am filming it and uploading it when I am uploading it because the new Walking Phoenix Joker movie, it's just called Joker, comes out today, October 4th, and I want it to play. So if you guys like this video while you're watching, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down to, below to my channel. Why? <laughs> So, I will have a reference picture popped in here somewhere, probably when I get closer to actually starting the clown part of the makeup, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I'm going to start by taking a washable glue stick and covering up my eyebrows. You don't really have to do this and I kind of wish I would have skipped it because my glue stick sucks and it was like peeling off. You'll see me through like the entire video pulling random hunks of glue off of my face. Once the glue is dry, I just put some white face powder over them to kind of settle them a little bit, but it was trashed the whole way around. Now I'm taking, instead of regular white face paint, I'm using a white foundation mixer just to give a base on my face. Base face? Face base. Now I'm taking a more brown gray shadow, eyeshadow, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my entire eyelid very sloppily, and I'm going to add some shadows on my face. I'm going to carve out a little bit under my cheekbones, my nose, and around my eyes a lot. Now I'm going to start off with a mix of the pink and the red cream colors in this palette. I got this palette off of Amazon, I'll have it linked down below. The picture I'm working off of I put in the video here in just a few minutes, but his eyebrows and his face, like his lips and nose, aren't all the way red, they're more of a purpley pinky magenta shade. So I mixed them to where it had a little more of that pink tone and his whole face is uneven, his eyebrows don't match, his eye shapes don't match, his smile is even crooked. So you can be pretty messily, messily, messy with this uh, makeup look and it will still come out decent. I'm just adding a little bit of a clown nose. I was having some issues getting around my nose ring but I made it happen. 
and you can darken this as you want to. I end up darkening, darkening all of the pink red here in a minute. Now to do the smile, it helps a ton if you actually smile when you do it. And you just want to kind of follow your contours and just draw on a super over exaggerated smile. And I do make mine a little uneven and I extend the corners of it just a little bit extra so it looks even creepier. And I'm just gonna fill in all of that and now I'm gonna take that gray brown shade again and shadow out around the edges of my smile underneath and above it a little bit the picture I'm working off of is super dark and um, so it looks like he has a ton of shadows and contours on his face so I'm just trying to recreate that and I do go in with a black cream and kind of darken out the entire smile but focusing on the corners and in between my actual lips And it does look like his makeup is smeared a little bit, so I go ahead and smear random pieces of mine just to make it look more messy. And now I'm going in with a very dark maroon eyeshadow and just covering everything that I've done in the pink-red mixture. This is just going to add it, add depth to it. I don't know why I can't talk. Now I'm taking a mix of the dark and the light blue and I'm going to draw on the eye shapes. If you watch the trailers, his makeup changes throughout the movie it looks like. Um, but I went off of this picture and it looks like he has uneven triangles on the top and bottom of his eye. But randomly in the trailer, he only has one eye done like this and the other eye is just on top. I don't know what's going on, but I worked off of that picture, so I made these super uneven and super messy and just colored them in with the blues I'm working with. And like I said on the other eye, I'm looking back at that reference picture again and the other eye is a little unsymmetrical it looks like. So I'm pretty much following the same steps and just making sure it's not even which is super easy to do. I'm adding a little bit more contour around my eyes. This whole look is pretty much just contouring because <laughs> I'm terrible. And I'm going back in with the white cream paint out of that palette and just brightening up a little bit on my forehead. He does have a very distinct line where he is makeup stops in the trailer it looks like from to make it look more like he did it himself. So I'm just brightening up where the white's kind of gotten lost in all of the contours. I'm just taking the black cream paint and with the same brush that I had the white on so it's more of a gray and I'm coloring in my entire eyelid and kind of smoking it and waking it out just a little bit. Now I'm taking the black cream color and I'm pretty much outlining my eye shapes and blending it down a little bit just to add depth and to add a little more darkness to this look.
and oh, my hair was so bad. Uh, I'm just kind of zhuzhing my hair a little bit and trying to get it to where you can see that it's green easier and then putting it back up because the back and underneath of my hair is still bright red so <laughs> it was a mess. But that is it for the makeup portion of this video. So that was a weird experience. I hope you guys liked it. Um, the picture I'm working off of where I felt like I could see like the shapes of his makeup the best is hella dark and shadowed, but I feel like I actually did pretty good. I don't know. What do you think? This is my first time in like 10 years. In like 10 years doing Halloween makeup. So y'all leave me alone. Um, I don't think it came out excellent. Because he has like a receding hairline. Um, so he has <laughs> way more forehead to work with than I do. But he does have a very abrupt line in the picture. I'm looking up where his makeup stops where you can see like he kind of did it himself everything is uneven even his smile is kind of uneven and it's all just very shadowy and sad i feel like i did pretty good from what i can see i feel like i did pretty good this is hella weird my daughter and fiance are in the living room napping and i'm gonna go see if i can scare them and also the hair just we're gonna ignore it it's green you can't really tell it's green unless I'm like looking down but I have this on because <laughs> there is a super distinct little little root area there and I ran out so the back of my hair is also not green it's really just the top whatever I hope you guys liked this I am so psyched to watch this movie I'm seeing it the day it premieres which when you're watching it is today October 4th I am <sighs> so excited I love Batman, I love Joker, I just love them. But I hope you guys liked it. Uh, leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel for more Halloween goodness. I am going to upload a Halloween video every single day of October. 31 freaking Halloween videos. And none of them are in any particular order other than this one because I wanted it to come out the day the movie came out. Because I'm weird. Alright. Bye, guys.